What is up you guys, Wonderbro here. Uh, very quickly today, I wanna go over an important and crucial point, okay, when it comes to recovery, and that is short-term discomfort must come up for long-term gain. So here's what happens. Uh, people love the idea of acceptance. They think this is great, something that's going to heal me, and it will. Uh, but what happens is they get into it. So they, they have these thoughts and, and these feelings and you know the practice is to tell yourself something like, instead of worry, tell yourself something like, you know what, it is what it is. If it happens, it happens, it's okay, it's, it's fine. You know, n anything but trying to fight with it or argue with it or justify it, you're letting those thoughts and feelings hang out. What happens is they get into that practice, right? Live your life, stop fighting with the thoughts and feelings. And because there's discomfort involved in the practice, because when they respond to those thoughts with something like, hey, it is what it is, um, and discomfort goes up, they think to themselves, I'm doing something wrong. They think to themselves, I gotta be doing something wrong. They think to themselves, this isn't working for me. So they're not seeing the burn as a good sign. Instead, they're seeing it as they're doing something wrong. And of course they spiral. They spiral at that point. I'm doing something wrong. This doesn't feel good. Recovery doesn't always feel good. Short-term discomfort goes up for long-term gain. And the reason it happens is when you start to dedicate to facing and accepting, which means you're no, try, no longer trying to reassure yourself against those thoughts and feelings, you're no longer fighting with them, you're no longer arguing with them, you're just letting them be, you're living your life, the two keys, um, what happens is the brain kind of freaks out a little bit. Now, it's no big deal. It's nothing you haven't already felt a million times before, but the brain kind of, you know, throws a little bit of a fit because it's like, oh man, all of a sudden you're not going to fight with these thoughts. You're putting us in danger. You're not actually putting anything in danger, but that's what the brain thinks, right? So it throws a bit of a fit. Um, people don't view that as a good thing. They don't say to themselves, you know what? It's burning really hot, but I'm not using compulsions. I'm not fighting with those thoughts and feelings. That's a good burn. I want that burn. I need this. Instead of having that winning attitude, they have an attitude of, oh man, like I said, I I'm doing something wrong or something's going wrong here. Something's not right. And that all comes down to the fact that they're not realizing that sometimes, most of the time, short-term discomfort goes up for long-term gain. And like I said, that's okay, because I would argue that staying stuck in the disorder is far worse than a little bit of short-term discomfort going up for long-term gain. It's far worse to stay in the situation that you're in, right? So it's totally fine. Um, but yeah, people don't look at it that way. They view it as I'm doing something wrong because it's uncomfortable. No, it's going to be uncomfortable. They view it as I'm not fighting with these thoughts and feelings. I'm just saying it is what it is, but anxiety is getting loud. It gets loud, right? Because it wants you to give in and fight. And what do people do? They give in and fight. They tap out too soon. They go back to the compulsions. They go back to the reassurance. The intensity, it gets hot. It gets hot. The burn gets hot right? Because it's supposed to. That is your brain trying to get you to give in. That is your brain saying, hey, start fighting with this stuff or we're going to die. You're not going to die, but that's what the brain thinks. You, the brain thinks you're throwing yourself to the wolves and you're going to get torn apart because you're no longer fighting with those thoughts and feelings. That's why the burn gets a bit intense at times, comes and goes, you know, whatever. Um, that is a good thing. And, and the point of this, this video right here is that if you view that as a good thing, you're going to go far because you're gonna be willing to put up with it. You're gonna be willing to say, hey, that means it's working. See, everybody views it the opposite. They say, oh, because it's hot and because it's intense, that this acceptance stuff isn't working. No, you're supposed to view it as it, that means it is working, right? <laughs> right? I'm getting a little bit tongue-tied. Uh, but you're supposed to view that as, okay, that means it is working. As I'm no longer doing compulsions and I'm accepting the thoughts and feelings, no, it doesn't feel nice. Yes, I'm afraid, that means it's working. Okay, so you can see how crucial this understanding is. I mean, it is important. It is crucial because you will tap out and you will go back to your compulsions and your reassurance ways and your negative coping methods and behaviors. You'll go back to all of that real quick if you don't see the burn as a good thing. Okay, you guys, it is a, a good thing. You need this. Okay, remind yourself when you are facing and accepting certain thoughts and feelings and you're not giving in to the fight and you're just saying it is what it is and it's getting hot. Remind yourself that's a good thing. It means it's working, okay? I love you guys so much. If you're interested in coaching with me one-on-one, -on -one, send me a DM on any of the Vacate Fear social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I've got it all. Go check those out, right? Go check those out. Toss me a follow. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed today's video. Remember, short-term discomfort goes up for long-term gain. That is not a problem unless you see it as a problem. And if you do see it as a problem, you need to change that because you're going to tap out. If you view the burning, right, if you view the burning as a bad thing, how can I expect you to carry on with acceptance? You've got to view it as a good thing. 
Love you guys. Stay awesome.